So I just want to show what the roosters look like. And you can see their little feet. And this one is a kitchen towel topper, and this is what the towel looks like. And the bottom part's not attached, so I kind of sewed it on halfway. This is what the face looks like. You can see the comb on top, the beak and the wattle, and the eyes. And then you can either leave it as a hot pad or a pot holder, or you can attach it to the kitchen towel. And this is what it looks like from behind. And here's the strap and the button for attaching it to the oven. And this is what it looks like folded on the back. And then here is, I show a different little design with the eye if you want to add a little color to the eye. And this one is just the pot holder that goes with it. And here's the tail. And this is what it looks like on the other side. And that's the rooster. I'm using this kitchen towel that I got from Cafe Express. You can use whatever towel that you want. Um, I would recommend one with the rooster on it, but this one is from KD Designs. For this project, you're going to need your J or 6 millimeter crochet hook. And for the eyes, I used my F or 4 millimeter crochet hook. And you're going to need your tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. You're going to need 100% cotton. And I'm using my white colored 100% cotton big roll. I'm using gold yarn, and this is um, Red Heart Super Saver. If you like this color, it's the Fanta's Choice Lion Brand, and the color is Honey. I'm also using 100% cotton cherry red yarn for this project. For the eye, I used my Karen Simply Soft White color and I used my craft smart value yarn black yarn for the eye for this one that I'm making I'm not using the um, aqua color that I used for my pot holder but if you like the aqua color I'll show you how you can put that into the eye as well I also used hunter green it's a really pretty green color from red heart super saver you're going to need a button for your project if you're making a kitchen towel topper. I'm using my yarn threader and also a skinnier tapestry needle that has a large eye to it and that way I can fit the tapestry needle through my button and just sew it on with yarn but you can use a regular sewing needle and thread also if you want. I'm going to start with your white 100 percent cotton yarn and we're going to start with the magic circle. Just take the yarn and drape it across your four middle fingers. Use your thumb to stabilize. Then wrap it around your two middle fingers and hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then you're going to take your J or six millimeter crochet hook and go under those two loops around the middle fingers. You're going to bring up a loop. And then you're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to do six single crochet into the magic circle. So you're going to go into the magic circle, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through both for a single crochet. And we're going to do six single crochet into the magic circle. Then you're going to take your forefinger and your thumb, and you're going to hold it at the base of the six single crochet. And then you have these two loops on the other side of the magic circle. You're going to pull on one of them. And if it doesn't close, then let go and pull on the other one. But this one's closing, so I'm gently going to close it. 
And then I'm going to take my loose yarn end and then pull on that. Now you're going to do two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12. So go ahead and go into that first stitch. You're going to do two single crochet into the same stitch. And you're going to do two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12. Then your work should look like this. And if you still have a little bit of opening in the center of your magic circle, you can take it and turn it over and pull on that loose yarn end to close it completely now. You see how it closes up nicely. And now you're going to need a yarn marker. I'm just going to use one of my scrap pieces of yarn. Just place it right where I left off. We're going to do our increase rounds now. So now you're going to do one single crochet into the first stitch. And then you're going to do two single crochet into the second stitch. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So I'll do one more set with you. So in the first stitch, you're going to do one single crochet. And then in the second stitch, you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. And then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back. Now you can go ahead and move your yarn marker up for our next increase round. And you're going to do one single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into the second stitch. And then two single crochet into the third stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. And again, go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up for another increase round. And now you're going to do one single crochet into three stitches. And then in the fourth stitch, you're going to do two single crochet into the same stitch. And then repeat that pattern all the way around. Your work should be looking like this. Go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. And now you're going to do one single crochet into the next four stitches. And then you're going to do two single crochet into the fifth stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. And again, take your yarn marker and move it up for the next increase round. If your center is poofing up a little bit, don't worry. That's normal. You can flatten it down. And then you're going to do one single crochet into the next five stitches. And then two single crochet into the sixth stitch and then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Move your yarn marker up and now we're going to do one single crochet into six stitches. And then two single crochet into the seventh stitch. And then repeat that pattern all the way around. Now we only have two more increase rounds left. For this increase round, you're going to do one single crochet into seven stitches. And then two single crochet into the eighth stitch. 
and then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now for our last increase round, we're going to do one single crochet into eight stitches. And then you're going to do two single crochet into the ninth stitch. And then repeat the pattern all the way around. Now we're all done with our increase rounds. And don't worry, like I said, if it poofs up just a little bit, mine does the same thing. And now what we're going to do, we can go ahead and get rid of our yarn marker. And we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. So take your crochet hook, go into the next stitch over. And then you're going to yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. And then you're going to finish off, you're just going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then just pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. And now you're going to need two of these, so go ahead and make another one of these. Now you should have two of these, and we're going to set these aside for now because we're going to work on the head. For the head, I'm using the gold color, and I'm going to start with the magic circle. Just take the yarn, drape it across your four fingers, use your thumb to stabilize, and wrap it around your two middle fingers. And then hold it in place with your pinky and thumb. And then you're going to take your J or six millimeter crochet hook and go under those two loops. You're going to yarn over, bring up a loop, and then yarn over and go through that loop for your slip knot. And then do six single crochet into the magic circle. two single crochet, three, and then you just take your forefinger and thumb and hold it at the base of the six single crochet. And then you have your two loops on the opposite side. You're going to pull on one. And again, this one's not pulling, so I'm going to let go and pull on the other one. And then just close it loosely for now. And then take your loose yarn in and pull on that. We can always close it more later. Just close it as much as you can. And then we're going to put two single crochet into every stitch around. So two single crochet into every stitch until you have a total of 12 and then come back. Now we can take and close the center of our magic circle. Just turn it over and pull on the loose yarn end. And then we're going to do some increase rounds. Go ahead and get your yarn marker and place it right where you left off. And then we're going to do one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back. And now we're going to do one more increase round and then we'll be done with the head, circle part of the head. So we're going to do one single crochet into two stitches and then two single crochet into the third stitch and then repeat the pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now you can go ahead and take your yarn marker out and we're going to do a slip stitch so you're going to go into the next stitch over and then you're going to yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch and then you're going to finish off you're just going to yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work.
And now you're going to need your red yarn. I'm still using my J crochet hook and I'm going to put my crochet hook right where my loose yarn end is off of the head and then I'm going to take my red yarn and just going to loop it right through. Make sure you leave enough loose yarn end for burying into your work. And then you're going to do a chain one. And then turn your work over and then just tie a knot. I like to do it just three times just to make sure it's secure. And then you're going to make a chain of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to go into the next stitch on the head. So right on the next stitch of the head, you're going to do a slip stitch. So you're going to take your crochet hook. Actually, you're going to go into the same stitch. So you're going to go into the same stitch that you just worked your chain six. So go into the same stitch, and we're going to do a slip stitch. So you're going to yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. And then you're going to go into the next stitch on the head, the gold stitch. You're going to yarn over, bring up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through both for a single crochet. Then you're going to make a chain of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can see how you formed a loop in the first one and now we have a chain of eight so we're going to make a little bit bigger loop. We're going to go back into the same stitch that you did your started your chain of eight. Same stitch you're going to yarn over and you're going to do a slip stitch. So you're going to bring the yarn through both loops on your hook. And then you're going to go into the next stitch on the head and do a single crochet. So you're going to bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. Now we have two loops for the comb of the rooster. Now we're going to do two more. So we're going to do another chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to do a slip stitch into the same stitch that we did our chain eight. So go into the same stitch. I'm going to yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. Then you're going to go into the next stitch over on the head. You're going to bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. And then we're going to make it a smaller comb. So again, we're going to do the six chain of six. One, two, three, four, five, Six, And then you're going to do a slip stitch into the same stitch that you did your chain of six. So you just yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. Now you're going to do a single crochet into the next stitch on the head. And then you're going to do a single crochet into the next space on the head and then we're going to make the beak so to make the beak we're going to use the next three stitches 
So you're going to do a single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three. And then you're going to chain one, turn your work, and you can see here at the base of your chain one, you have a little bit of an upslope. We're not going to work in this stitch. You're going to work in the next stitch over. And we're going to do a single crochet. So you're going to do a single crochet into the next stitch over. And a single crochet into the next stitch over. Then you're going to turn your work and we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch over. So go into the next stitch and then you're going to bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. And then you're going to do a, a slip stitch into the next stitch. And then you're going to turn your work and you're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. We're just forming a beak now, a pointy end. And then turn your work. Actually, you're going to do a chain one and then turn your work and slip stitch into the next stitch. And then you're going to finish off. So just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. And then you can see how you made a little pointy. Actually, it's going to go this way because you have your loose yarn end from the magic circle is going to be in the back of the head. Then you finished your combs at the top of the head and you finished your beak. There. So now what you're going to do with this loose yarn end from the beak is take your tapestry needle because you don't want to lose the point at the end of the beak. So just take your tapestry needle and you're just going to go right into the pointy end of the beak to the other side and that just helps keep a pointy end and then take and bury your loose yarn end And then you can just take and cut your loose yarn end. And now you have your combs done and the beak. Now we're going to make the waddle that goes down here. Now to make the waddle, you're going to take, make sure that your combs are facing towards your right. The beak is facing up or away from you and we have the right side facing you this is the wrong side and the right side is up and take your crochet hook and go right in the next stitch under the beak grab your red yarn loop it and bring it through make sure you leave enough loose yarn end for burying and then just yarn over and go through that loop for chain one. And then you're just going to turn your work over and tie a knot.
Then you're going to make a chain of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to do the next row. So you're going to hold that last chain you made with your middle finger and thumb and then you're going to do a chain two. One, two. That's going to count as your first half double crochet for the next row. So now the stitch that you're holding with your middle finger and thumb, we're going to do a half double crochet into that stitch. So you yarn over, go into that stitch, bring up a loop, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three for a half double crochet. And then you're going to do a half double crochet into every stitch back to the head. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three for half double crochet. And then go ahead and do a half double crochet into every stitch. Now I have two stitches left. I'm going to do a half double crochet into each of those last stitches. And then I'm going to do a slip stitch onto the next stitch on the head. So you're going to go into the next stitch on the head and then you're going to yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. And then you're going to go ahead and finish off. So just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. And now you have the waddle done and we're going to make the eye. Also the gold portion, make one more so that you have two of those. So before we get started on the eye, I just want to make sure you have one more of these because this is going to be very helpful when we're done. What we're going to do is we're going to bury all of our loose yarn ends on the back after we sew on the eye and then you can cover the loose yarn ends with the back of the head and it works real nice. So you don't have to bury all those loose yarn ends and it just makes the head look nice and neat. So we can go ahead and take this loose yarn end and put that towards the inside. And then we're going to start on the eye. For the eye, I'm using my Karen Simply Soft white yarn and my F for 4mm crochet hook. And we're going to start with a magic circle. So you just drape the yarn across your four fingers, use your thumb to stabilize, and then wrap it around your two middle fingers and hold it in place with your pinky and thumb. And then, just like we've done before, we're going to bring up a loop. Yarn over and go through that loop for your slip knot, and we're going to do six single crochet into the magic circle. Then you're going to take your forefinger and thumb and just hold it at the base. And then you have the two loops on the opposite side. You're just going to pull on one of them to close it. And then take your loose yarn in and pull on that. And then we're just going to take our crochet hook, go into that first stitch. And then you're going to bring up a loop, 
and then you're going to yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. You're going to do two single crochet into the same stitch. And then you're going to do two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12. I'm going to do one more with you. So I'm going to do two single crochet into the next stitch. And I'm going to do two single crochet into every stitch around until I have a total of 12. Now I'm going to go ahead and close the center of my magic circle. So I'm just going to turn it over and take that loose yarn in and just pull on that snugly until it's closed. And then I'm going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. So I'm going to take my crochet hook, go into the next stitch over and yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. And then I'm just going to finish off. So I'm going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down and bring enough yarn through to sew the eye onto the rooster. Now we're going to need the center of the eye. So I'm going to show you how to make that black portion that goes on the eye. So to make the little black portion that goes on the eye, I'm going to show you how to make it with the white yarn because the black yarn doesn't come out well on video. So you're going to start the same way. You're just going to start with your magic circle. And I'm still using my F for four millimeter crochet hook. And we're going to do our slip knot. And then we're going to do three single crochet into the magic circle. So only three instead of six. There's one, two, and three. And then you're just going to close it the same way, except now instead of six single crochet, you have three. And then you're just going to take your crochet hook, and the same way you're going to go into that first stitch. The only difference is it's a little smaller this time. And then you're just going to do a slip stitch. And then you're going to finish off. And then bring enough yarn through before you cut it so you can sew it onto the white portion. Now you're going to take your tapestry needle, you're going to place your eye onto the rooster and then just bring the white portion of your loose yarn end to the other side and just sew it in place. And then after you sew on the white portion leave all the loose yarn ends on the other side. Then you take the black portion and then just sew it on the same way. Just place it where you want it. And then just make sure the loose yarn ends are on the wrong side when you're done. And you can just see where I placed my eye. Now this is what my finished eye looks like on this rooster. And then if you like the blue in this rooster, I'm going to show you how I did that. I just started with my aqua color and did the magic circle. Start with six single crochet in the magic circle. And then you close it the same way. And 
Then you do two single crochet into every stitch around until you have a total of 12. And then you take your crochet hook, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Then you're going to take your white yarn, you're going to hook it and bring it through both loops on the hook. Then you're going to chain one and then turn your work over. Then you can cut the blue or whatever color you used for your eyes. And then just take and tie a knot. Then you're going to take and do a single crochet in the same stitch. And then you're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch. Two single crochet in the next stitch. Two single crochet in the next stitch. And then you're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. And then you're going to finish off. So this just gives you different options for the eye. So this one was with the 12 stitches. This one is with the 6. And you could see what it would look like. Now you're going to take your rooster's head and that extra piece that I told you turn the head over so that all of the loose yarn ends are exposed and then we're just going to trim those loose yarn ends so you just take your scissors and just kind of cut them and then you're going to take the back side of the head and put your tapestry needle on or get the same colored yarn if you didn't leave it a long enough loose yarn end on the second piece and then you want the wrong side which is the side with the loose yarn end just fold that into the inside and then place it onto the back you can tuck all the loose yarn ends on the inside and then you're just going to sew it in place so you just take your tapestry needle and just sew the two edges together. That way it will keep those loose yarn ends on the inside and make everything nice and neat for the back of the rooster's head. So go ahead, sew your rooster's head together and just make sure that as you're sewing you're not messing up the design on the front of the head and then come back. Now after you've sewn the back on to the head we can tie a knot, so you just take the back of the head, just grab a stitch, and then go through the loop to tie a knot, and then just take your loose yarn in and just go right through the center, making sure not to mess up your design on the front. You're just burying your loose yarn end. And now the head's finished. We're going to start with the neck. Now for the neck, you're going to use the same colored yarn as the head. And you're going to turn it so that the waddle is facing up. And you're going to go over two spaces. One, two. And then in the third space over, actually, yeah, the third space over, you're just going to take your crochet hook and go through that stitch. Then you're going to hook the yarn and bring it through. And then you're going to do a chain one. 
and then tie, turn it over to tie a knot. And then you're going to make a chain of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to make a chain one. And you're going to go into the second chain from the hook to do a single crochet. And then you're going to do a single crochet into every stitch back to the head. And then you're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch on the head. So go into that next stitch on the head. And then you're going to yarn over. And then bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. And then you're going to turn your work. And then you're going to do a single crochet. into the next stitch. And we're going to single crochet back down but we're not going to go all the way to the end because we want to have some of the end hanging down. So we're going to leave a couple of the stitches unworked. So we're going to leave these last couple stitches unworked and then you're going to make a chain of four. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to chain one and then turn our work and we're going to head back towards the head again. So in the second chain from the hook, you're going to do a single crochet. And you're going to do a single crochet into every stitch back and this is what it looks like so far Now I have one stitch left on the neck and then I've reached the head. So in the next stitch on the head, I'm going to do a slip stitch. And then I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to do a single crochet on the neck.
and you're just going to keep going down and again when you reach the base of the ends that you left longer that's when we're going to chain and make a new one so I'm going to work it with you to show you what I'm talking about because you want it to look like this at the base of the neck, like little feathers. So I'm going to do two more. And then I'm going to make a chain of four. One, two, three, four, and then I'm just going to chain one and turn. And then I'm going to work a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And then I'm going to work a single crochet back to the head. Single crochet in every stitch back to the head just like I did for the other two. My yarn's tangling up on me. So go ahead, finish doing one single crochet into every stitch until you reach the head, and then come back, and then I'll slip stitch with you and work back down toward All right, the Right, so I've reached the head, so I'm going to go ahead and do a slip stitch into the next stitch on the head, and then I'm going to turn my work. And I'm going to work a single crochet into every stitch back down to the base right before it starts fingering out. So I'm going to do two more. And then I'm going to make a chain. This time I'll do a chain of three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to chain one and turn. And you can make yours longer, shorter, however you want to design yours. And then you're going to go into the second chain from the hook and do a single crochet. And then you're just going to do a single crochet into every stitch back to the head again. And we're going to just do one more turn. So I'll show you how to do that. Go ahead, finish doing one single crochet all in every stitch, all the way back to the head, and then come back for the last row. Okay, so now I'm back at the head. So I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch on the head. And then I'm going to turn my work. And this is going to be our last row. And I'm going to do a single crochet into every stitch back to the base where it fingers. And this is the last row that we're going to do. I'm going to make this last feather longer. So I have, let's see, that's good. So now I'm going to do a chain of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm just going to turn my work. And then I'm going to go into the next chain and do a single crochet. And then you're just going to do a single crochet just like we did for the other rows all the way back to the head. When you reach the head, come back and I'll show you what to do next. 
Now when you reach the head, we're going to do a slip stitch again to the next stitch on the head, and then we're going to finish off. So you're going to yarn over, and then just pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. And you can see how the neck looks. Now go ahead and grab the body. You're only going to need one of them. So go ahead and set the other one aside for now. And you're going to have the right side facing up. The wrong side is the one with the loose yarn end on it. And we're going to sew the chicken head onto the body. Go ahead and get your tapestry needle with the same colored yarn. And then you can see on the body that you have that straight edge. We're going to work along that straight edge. Just going to place the head right on that straight edge. And you're just going to sew the first finger right in the corner. Or I should call it the feather fingered feather. Just start from the back, the wrong end, and come through to the right side. Make sure you leave enough loose yarn in for tying a knot. And then you're just going to sew it in place. Just turn it over and tie your knot. Making sure you don't get all tangled. And then you're just going to take and sew the chicken head in place onto the body. And you're just going to sew along here and sew the fingers, fingered feathers down. And then you're just going to drape that last longer feather along the edge of the body. And then come back. This is how your work should look so far. And this is what it looks like on the back of mine. And now I'm going to show you how to do the feathers. Now you're going to get your hunter green colored yarn. And I'm using my J crochet hook. And I'm going about two stitches over from that feather along the back on the neck. And then you're just going to take your green color, bring up a loop, make sure you have enough loose yarn end for tying a knot. Then you're going to chain one and then tie your knot onto the back. Then you're going to make a chain of 20. One, two, so you should have a chain of twenty. Now you're going to do a chain one for the next row. So chain one. And then you're going to go into the second chain from the hook. You're going to bring up a loop. Two loops on the hook. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through both for a single crochet. And then you're going to do a single crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to do a half double crochet into the next stitch. So you're going to yarn over, going to go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through all three for half double crochet. Then you're going to do a half double crochet into the next stitch.
Now we're going to do a double crochet into the next stitch. So you're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, two loops left on the hook, yarn over and go through two for a double crochet. Then we're going to do a double crochet into the next stitch. And now we're going to do a treble crochet into the rest of the stitches back to the body. So you're going to yarn over twice. You're going to go into the next stitch. You're going to bring up a loop. You have four loops on the hook. Yarn over and go through two. Three loops left on the hook. Yarn over and go through two. Two loops left on the hook. Yarn over and go through two. So now you're going to do one treble into the rest of the stitches back to the body. So I'm going to do a couple with you. So I'm going to do one more. Okay, go ahead and finish doing a treble into every stitch back to the body and then come back. So this is how your feather should look. And now you've reached the body. You just did your last treble stitch. So now you're going to skip one, two, three, four stitches on the body. And in that fourth stitch, so you're going to skip three, I'm sorry, one, two, three. And in the fourth stitch is where you're going to do a slip stitch. So in the fourth stitch, after you skip three stitches on the body and go into that fourth stitch, you're going to do a slip stitch. So you just yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. And then you're going to finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through so that you can sew a little bit and bury that loose yarn end. So we have one feather done. Now we're going to do a different colored feather the same as the neck color and we're going to alternate colors for the tail. So now you're going to take your gold color and you also can um, change the size by changing the number of chains that you do. So we're going to start you're going to count over from your feather on the body so you're going to skip one, two, three, four and then you're going to go into that fifth stitch on the body with your crochet hook and you're going to grab your gold color this time and then you're going to chain one and tie a knot And this time, instead of starting with the chain of 20, like my first feather, I'm going to chain 30. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to finish chaining 30. So you should have a chain of 30 and then you're going to do a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So go into that second chain from the hook, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet and then you're going to do a single crochet into the second stitch and then we're going to do a half double crochet just like we did each of the feathers you're going to do the same thing. Now we're going to do a half double crochet and then we're going to do a half double crochet into the second stitch. And then we're going to do a double crochet. 
So you're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two. Then you're going to do a double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to do a treble crochet into every stitch back across. So yarn over twice, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, four loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two. So I'll do one more treble with you, yarn over twice, bring up a loop, four loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two. So go ahead, finish doing one treble crochet into every stitch back to the body, and then come back.